Hello, everyone, and welcome to One on One. In the last few weeks, I've had the opportunity to visit the various high schools here in Shelby County. I've had an opportunity to speak to members of the class of 2024. It has been really interesting to hear the stories that they've been able to tell, the ways that they've been inspired, encouraged, and to really hear what's ahead for them in their future. I want you all to take an opportunity to hear from students across Shelby County. And I think one of the things that will be clear to you is that we have created a great educational experience for every student. Many of our students talked about their schools being a family, which I think is extremely important to all of us. So without further ado, please listen to our students from the class of 2024 talk about their school experience here in Shelby County Schools. Whit, how are you? I'm doing really good today. How about you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for joining me. And first, let me say congratulations on being named valedictorian. Well, thank you very much, man. It, um, it's been a long uh, journey yeah. these past four years. How does it feel in a few weeks to be walking across um, the stage? Honestly, it's kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of sad. It's like a bittersweet moment, but I am looking forward to the future. I feel pretty good. Yeah. Um, the last day of school, I wasn't too emotional, but for some reason I feel like graduation when sure. everybody's name finished getting called and I finally moved the tassel over and we threw our caps. I feel like all my emotions will actually start running because it's actually for real at yeah. that time. My last day was kind of emotional. I had to say bye to some of my favorite teachers yeah. and some tears were shed. But uh, I think for graduation, um, I'll probably cry after graduation, I yeah. think. But I'm going to be just super excited the entire time. Uh, it's definitely surreal, you know. Waited 13 years from the moment. Now that it's here, I'm kind of like, whoa. Yeah. Came real quick, you know, especially from August to now. It's flown by for sure. Wow. I think I'm going to feel a lot of things. Primarily, probably a sense of accomplishment. It's just such a big deal Good to point. graduate. Good point. It's really nerve-wracking, but it's also really exciting. Sure. Um, it's the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. Sure. Um, but I feel I feel prepared for this next like part of my life. Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm really excited for that and yeah. what life has in store for me. Good. And you're the salutatorian, I hear. Yes, sir, I am. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm really excited. It's something that I've worked really hard for, and I'm something that I take a lot of pride in. Right. Um, and so that's something that, you know, a lot of people always dream of, getting to have and getting that honor and just sure. to have that honor i just want to make sure that i represent my class well the class of 2024 i think mm -hmm. it's um it's been a uh, a long time coming for you all you all have had some uh interesting challenges in your journey yes, to get here definitely. so tell us um tell us what you will be the most memorable for you as you think about you know this moment and your time here at vincent high school so it's very ironic, actually. Um, I have played many sports at Vincent, sure. and I've got to um, get a feel of like different having different coaches. But recently, this year, my last year at Vincent, I decided to try out for the cheer team, ah. and I have never cheered before. It was definitely a new experience for me, and I'm very grateful for the experience. But I was able to like become friends with so many people right. and well we won regionals yeah I with our that. cheer team it was our first time ever competing and that's probably one of like the greatest high school memories that I have and we then competed at state and placed ninth in the state and congratulations thank on you that. yeah um it's it was just so amazing being able to like experience that with my team and having the opportunity to do that my first and last year cheering and like I don't think that anything else could just measure up to how amazing it was being with those girls and sure. doing all of these things with that team. Well, there are going to be lots of excellent memories, sure. but I have to say probably Friday night football games. Sure. Just as a whole, being up in the stands and the atmosphere is just nothing can beat it. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, all some Friday nights are the best, you know, probably in every community. What do you think will be the most memorable part of your school career? Um, I would say like homecoming week probably stands out the most for me. My best memories, I think, would have to be either in the 
football locker room, playing football, or just on the track jumping. So one of those two. Yeah. Uh, I took great pride in uh, doing both of those. I'll say my <clears throat> best memory will probably be homecoming. Um, I particularly served on SGA. I was the senior representative and being able to like kind of be behind the scenes and like yeah. um, cater like a bunch of activities to like the students or whatever and seeing it all come to life and everybody really enjoying it and even like the homecoming dance to top it off, that would probably be like my best memory. Probably this year, honestly. Okay. Uh, I feel like sticking through with classes was definitely the hardest this year, but I'm proud of being able to look back at what I've achieved so far. It's probably like meeting new people and making new friends and forming these like relationships with like other students and even teachers and like staff here at the school. Yeah. And yeah, it's going to be like really bittersweet leaving here because yeah. it's such like a family feel here. I think like all in all in school is like the friendships that I've made over the years right. and like the connections that I've made with all my teachers and like, yeah, just being able to like pursue those relationships and keep them for so many years, I think is really important. Yeah, relationships are extremely mm -hmm. important. So the Oak Mountain Band has definitely been probably the highlight overall of high school. It's something really, and I sound like a propaganda machine, but it's so it's so <laughs> true um, because you come into freshman year and you already know so many people because of band camp. And it's it really is a close knit family because we work together. We sweat together. Right. We work hard. Um, we cry together. We run laps together when we talk too much, you know, like and then we go and we win and we play at football games and we cheer on the football team and we just have fun in the stands. And sure. I think. I just, I just think about, like, when am I going to do that again in life? Who do you think um, has made an impact on you and why? Ooh. Well, there's a lot of sure, people, certainly, I, I'm, that have. I'm sure, yeah. Um, if I had to pick one for the largest impact, it would probably have to be either Mr. Bromley or Mr. Reed, because they've been the ones that have made it happen all along through high school year. Okay. And um, one teacher specifically can't have as much influence as that, you know, so. Yeah. I'm sure as administrators, they would pr be proud to know that and hear that. I feel like all of my math teachers have really helped me there. They have been really wonderful teachers. And some of my electives have really helped me make my decision on my career pl class has really helped me make my decision on what I want to do in the future. At Chelsea, I would like to say um, Coach Van Oko, actually. She's been my coach in track for the past three years and has always pushed me to be great. Um, even, I know a lot of coaches just ask for results, but she's always like checked up on me, seeing how my family's doing and stuff. I got really close to her family as well. But not not just else, I actually got to be a student in her calculus class this year, and she's an amazing calculus teacher, amazing teacher in general. And um, similarly to Carson, uh, I didn't get a chance to give a Golden Apple Award, but if I were to, I would give it to Coach Van Oakle because she's just, she's an amazing person and, and an aspiring role model to me. I'd probably have to say, the theater teacher here, Miss Eubanks. Um, she's a very kind, very uh, kind person, and she kind of helped me in a way to like express myself yeah. more as a person. Because I'm kind of a quiet person, and being in that class is like trying to help, you know, not be so quiet and all. Sure, sure. She is really kind. Mm -hmm. okay, I will say it's something about the English teachers here. Okay. Um, specifically, Miss Rigdon and Miss McKinney. Those are my go-to teachers. Um, I really enjoyed them. I had Miss McKinney for AP Lang, eleventh grade year, and then Miss Rigdon for Honors English Ten, my tenth grade year. And they were just the way they taught, the way that you can just go in there anytime and just you know talk to them or whatever if you needed anything. First of all, I would like to say my teammates. Yeah. Um, you know, those are my brothers, the guys that I spend all my time with on the field and out outside of the field. Um, yeah, lots of blonde hair and root beer. <laughs> right, right, yeah, blonde hair and root beer, that was our <laughs> thing. Um, but, you know, just the just seeing some of the guys that um, are willing to go the extra mile is not, you know, is not something that is seen everywhere. Um, you know, I've always said that throughout my time here, we have been blessed with a lot of talent, but you know, talent can only get you so far. Hard work beats talent every time. Absolutely. Um, and so just to just to be surrounded with a great group of guys like that has truly made me a better person. Um, my friend group has been really great. 
Um, sure. And that's made me want to be better for myself. I want to be better for them. Right. I want to do great things to represent them well and to show, yeah. you know, to show what we're about. Sure. Um, some of the people in my grade, uh, our valedictorian, Chloe Abrams, she's a freaking great person. Um, <laughs> um, hard yeah. worker, will do anything for anybody, just a really kind, sweet sure. person. Um, so, you know, some of my friends, Chloe Carroll over there, just another great person who's willing to work hard, you know, um, and they show what they show what the value of getting it done in the classroom really is. Sure, sure. Um, you know, everybody everybody sees the highlights of people in sports, but you, I mean, not everybody realizes that classroom means a lot too. Right. Um, and so, you know, those those people, just to see how hard they work, it motivates me to be better. Um, you know, I'm a competitive person, so yeah. I'm, always trying to, I'm always trying to beat them in whatever sure. it is. Sure. Um, but it really does, it motivates me to be better and just to be surrounded with a great group of people like that, kind people, hardworking people, it really does make you a better person. I mean, the first person that comes to mind that um, has made a tremendous impact on me is my mother. Yeah. I mean, she... I mean, I've been blessed to have an amazing and supportive family, yeah. and my mother is the keystone of that. She always has pushed me to, like, do the best that I can. Right. And never put too much pressure on me and just love me unconditionally. And for teachers here, um, Amanda Bittinger, Miss B, she's the GOAT, as I would say. <laughs> she is the GOAT. She I is love, the GOAT, for sure. I love Miss B, and I took the calc exam on Monday yeah. I definitely got a five on that so, <laughs> <laughs> True, she's also sure. an inspiration to me because she was valedictorian of her high school and her college nice. so she's someone who I looked up to over these or since I've known her for these past two years about um, becoming valedictorian sure. uh, Mr. Martindale the band director here um, you know I've been with him for seven no six years now um, since middle school and you know he's kind of you know almost guided me in terms of you know musical stuff and whatnot and now you know I'm going to college for it and I feel like he helped contribute me to figure out what I wanted to do with the you know the rest of my life pretty much sure. after college sure. um, another one I'm gonna have to go with Mr. Dudley Mr. Dudley he hasn't been here for super super long yeah. even my whole high school career but he um, he's definitely made an impact on not just me, but all of the students here. Yeah. Because, um, you know, I don't think I've heard a single bad thing about him while he's been here. Yeah. Um, everybody here loves him. Um, you know, very, very nice, outgoing guy. You know, sure. great principal. Three of my teachers throughout my high school career. First is Dr. Moore. Okay. I had her two years yeah. for chemistry, and um, she was really amazing about um, helping me, you know, work hard sure, and get sure. my work done. And I passed my AP chemistry exam. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then Miss Littleton, okay. she really um, made her classroom like a learning environment. It was really comfortable. And I feel like that helped me, um, you know, make lots of memories with my classmates and her and also um, just learn history really well. Yeah. And then my last teacher would have to be Mr. Baker. Oh. He's been really impactful on me. Okay. Not just in a um, academic sense, but also he's helped me, I don't know, realize things about myself as a person. Sure. And um, foster my love for language arts. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I know recently that you um, kind of recognized one of your teachers, a math teacher. Oh. That we both know. <laughs> okay. Tell, well, how, will you share that story? Okay. So, okay. So, I didn't... So. At Chelsea High School, when you graduate with honors, you get a golden apple, mm -hmm. and that's to have a 4.0 or higher. And sure. I was not fortunate enough. I was very, very close. I, know. I was so close. I was on I the know. cusp of it. And so I still wanted to honor a teacher, yeah. especially one who made such a big impact on my life, and that would right. be Coach Bombaugh. Sure. So I got him a golden goat because ah. he is the goat, if greatest of all time. If anybody, <laughs> <laughs> anybody doesn't know what that means. Yes, yes. I would, I would agree with that. He's yes. a wonderful teacher. Certainly he's a wonderful coach. Yes. Um, I can actually say he's impacted my kids' lives yeah. as well. I, so. made, I made so many good memories in his class. Yeah. He was just great. He was a That's great good. teacher. Yeah? Where are you going? I'm going to the Navy right after oh, high wow. school. Wow, thank you. I leave June 28th. Awesome. That's pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to form a band and trying to okay. make rock and roll music. Yeah? I feel like that would be a fun goal to do. Okay. Sounds like it would be. Oh, yeah. It's just difficult to get all that started, so. Sure. 
Okay, so after after graduation, I'll be attending Jefferson State Community College, yeah. where I will be doing some basics to go into nursing. Sure. And I'm excited because I think a lot of people like don't understand that community college isn't like the worst thing in the world. No, like, I think it's a lot, actually really good. Yeah, I think it's, a lot of people kind of like look down on it because you don't get that college experience. But yeah. like, I, I found opportunities to like go out and make friends. Like I'm going to be an ambassador in the fall for them, which oh, I'm excited awesome. about. Congratulations. That's what I'm really excited about because yeah. I think I'll be able to make a lot of friends through that. And there's a lot of stuff on campus that you can do. Sure. So I'm real excited about Jeff State. Yeah. I think well, my goal is to do Barry's dual degree program. So do three years of Barry and then two years of Georgia Tech. So get a physics degree and then electrical engineering degree and hopefully go into the career of electrical engineering. And you are off to? Um, Tuskegee University. And tell us about that choice and why. So I particularly want to go to an HBCU and I want to study animal poultry and pre-veterinary sciences. And they have one of the top programs like in the nation. Yeah, sure. And they also have their own vet school. So I felt like that was the perfect fit for me. I'm getting enrolled into UAB in the fall ah. and I plan to study criminal justice and minor in like forensic psychology. What does going out in the world mean for you next year? Um, well, next fall, I'm going to UAB. Ah, okay. So I'm studying uh, neuroscience. So for me, I'm going to be going to the University of Alabama. I'm going to get a degree in musical audio engineering. So initially, I planned on going to Jefferson State Community College mm -hmm. to pursue a degree in nursing. Um, I've always been interested in the medical field. Okay. My mom is a nurse. My grandmother teaches clinicals with Jeff State. Oh, okay. um, so I definitely knew I wanted to go into nursing. But more recently, about a month or two ago, I decided that I wanted to like branch out and get to know new people and get a sense of independence almost. Okay. And I got the opportunity to go to Coastal um, Coastal Alabama Community College, and I'm going to be a resident assistant there. Nice. And I just recently got the position, and it was extremely exciting to, to, be, um, to have the honor of doing that. I want to go to school for chemistry, and I want to go into pharmaceuticals and drug development. And um, like what started that idea in my head for me was my dad. Yeah. My dad was a drug researcher, and um, uh, he discovered the origin of HIV oh, wow. um, and numerous other accolades. But um, that's what initially inspired me to do this. And throughout my life, I've just been inclined to help people. And I've participated in that through volunteering here at Oak Mountain. Right. I'm in Beta Club. I'm in Key Club. I started this thing called Vocal Birmingham, which is volunteer opportunities for yeah. communities in Alabama. And um, I've just, I've really loved to help people. And I feel like the biggest way I can do that in life is through making medicine yeah. to help people. Wow, wow, thank you for sharing that. And um, I think, I love the nobility in that. I, and I love the fact that your interest is in helping people. Um, sometimes that whole dynamic seems a little bit fleeting, you know. Um, Sometimes we feel like we live in a, a world where we're all about ourselves, but I appreciate a senior in high school who is looking to move on, um, oh, yeah. wanting to do something to make the world a better place. So I appreciate that. Well, thank you. What do you want people to know about Chelsea High School? I know we've talked a little bit about your experiences and as a senior, as you walk out the door, what do you, what do you want people, people know to know about, about, about this school? school? I think people should know that like Chelsea, don't be afraid to get involved here because yeah. there are teachers who, who want to care for you and who want to help you. Yeah. And I think a lot of like, we just went to the middle school for peer helpers and this is what I told a lot of them. There are so many resources here and so many people who want to help you. Right. You just have to reach out. I want them to know that the teachers, the faculty and staff, even like your administration in the front office, they really do everything with, you know, the kids at heart. Um, especially, and I kind of saw that come into play with SGA as well, like when we would make different requests for activities for us students to have, they would be very, you know, lenient and sometimes compromisable with us students so that we could, you know, do activities that we enjoyed. And even like just in the classroom settings, personally with the teachers I had, yeah. they also make sure that like, you know, every student succeeds. Well, the Helena community is amazing and so is the high school. Um, 
you can find like your place here because there's so many different groups, so many different clubs or things to join. Like you can always find like a group to be in and people to surround yourself with. I think it's just like very homey. It's like a family here. And I think like a lot of people would really like it here yeah. if they would just like just have an open mind and stuff. Sure. We do have a good community. <laughs> I yes. Guess. Yeah. That's what I want people to know. Like no matter like what our academics or sports are, I think as long as people know that we have a good community, it'll keep people inspired by Oak Mountain and it pushes all the other schools around us in the over the mountain area yeah. um, to soar above their limits just like we do here at Oak Mountain. One of the things I can say that our high school does really great is making a lot of people feel included. Okay. Um, it's a very inclusive school almost. Uh, everyone's a family. Um, because, you know, we're relatively on the smaller side of schools. And so everyone's tightly knit, close together. Everybody knows everybody. Um, and that's one thing I, say, I would say that our school is absolutely great at, is just everybody's there, everybody's included, and, you know, no one's really left out. My journey throughout high school at Vincent has been nothing short of spectacular. Um, we have done some really impossible things. Sure. Um, since since I've been here and since the cl my class has been here, um, you know it started out. We were in we started in 2020 and that was when COVID hit. Sure. We didn't even all start high school at the same time. We were split up. Sure. Throughout the week, um, we had to wear masks, keep right. distance apart. So we never knew what to expect. But I think the things that we have done have just been amazing. And you know I talk about this. I will talk about this a little bit in my speech, yeah. my salutatorian speech, but. Um, it's easy for people to see the things that the way that Vincent has grown on the field. You know, we've right. had some really great moments on the field. Yeah. You know, we had a state state championship run last year. Sure. We made football history last year. You so did. those are some great things. And that's things that people in the community and people outside of the community can see. But not what everybody sees is the way the hallways are, the sure. way that we are in the classrooms. I've, I've been here because, you know, our middle school is combined with our high school. Sure, so sure. since sixth grade, I've been in this building, and I have been able to see how uh, the school has grown and sure. gotten better and the culture has changed. The way that we carry ourselves and the way that we do things, how hard we work is a direct representation of our faculty and staff, our teachers yeah. that, you know, pour into us. Yeah. Um, and so just just because we're a small two-A school, I mean, we have just as much value as anybody else. Absolutely. Vincent will forever have a special place in my heart just because of the people who work here and the teachers and the admin. Like, it's just that you can tell that they're really passionate about what they do. If you had to share something with underclassmen, you know, what do you think you're, you know, parting words would be to an underclassman to help them be more successful in school? I would tell them to like, don't be scared to try different things and it's okay to mess up. It's okay not to, to like something. Um, it's okay to not be perfect. I think perfection is like, it doesn't exist and it's okay to to make mistakes um, as long as you learn from those mistakes. Sure. Um, I would say to soak it all in because it, time really does fly by. Um, I will say some activities throughout the year, I look back and I was like, dang, like it's already going, it's coming, going that quick. Yeah. I felt like I did enjoy it at the moment, but I didn't cherish it. So I would say just to soak it all in, don't rush anything, enjoy every moment, and also participate. If there's a pep rally or if there's like homecoming activities, yeah. something simple as prom or anything, just go to it because you will regret it in the long run. Yeah, get involved. Get right. involved. Yeah. I did this earlier when we were doing our, our senior exit interviews, mm -hmm. and I said that my best advice to underclassmen would be to always have respect for your teachers and your peers. Because I feel like sometimes there's like conflict in this school and I'm sure a lot of other schools. And I just think that like starting with respect for yourself, for others, and especially like your teachers can get you into more places than you think. Yeah, that's great advice for sure. High school is a really sweet experience and a really good time to try out a bunch of things. Right. And so I would just tell underclassmen, well, first off, like, it's going to be okay. You're yeah. going to make it. <laughs> yeah. You're going to graduate. You're going to be okay. Like, 
God's got a good plan for you either way. And then second, to just enjoy high school and take the opportunity by the reins and try out for a play or try out for the soccer or softball team. You know, just sure. try what you want to try because, I mean, why not? Sure. I think my best advice would be to get involved, whether that's um, – with uh, the leadership clubs like peer helpers or ambassadors or SGA or athletically like football, track, um, basketball. So more or less you get involved in one of those two things. I wanna, I wanna get you to speak to something that I heard you talk about, okay? Okay. I heard a, your senior speech. I heard you use the phrase, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, throughout my high school journey, I've had a lot of ups and downs and um, situations that weren't always the best of situations and situations where, you know, I found myself not in a place where I was always comfortable being growing up. And um, really, at first, it started in a place of sports. Sure. Um, at growing up, you know, I was I was one of the always one of the better athletes on the field in uh, Little League and things like that. But as I've gotten older, you know, everybody everybody's getting better. And so I found myself in a place of uncomfortability. Yeah. Um, and so I had to find it within myself that I needed to work harder right. and do the things that others weren't wi weren't willing to do. Um, and so you just have to get used to being uncomfortable. And when you get used to that, it really can help you make the best of your situations. Yeah. Well, and I think the very thing that you've shared is tremendous advice for underclassmen, for sure. Um, and so I appreciated, I appreciated that when I heard it, for sure. So yes, thank sir. you, thank you for sharing that. So I've hoped you've enjoyed listening to our students. It is tremendously an honor to serve our students and to create opportunities that will better their future. Thank you so much for allowing me to serve your kids and to lead Shelby County Schools. What a privilege to be in a place where we have so many people that work so hard to make sure that our kids have the best and the brightest future. I hope to see you soon again on one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Brooks. Take care.